guys I missed you so much so today I'm back to show you how I straighten my natural hair now I know this is a rare moment I don't straighten my hair a lot but today I'm gonna straighten it for several reasons and I'm gonna be explaining them throughout the video but first I'm applying my Shea Moisture leave-in detangler my hair is really dry I think I just washed it it had no product in it so I'm just adding a little bit of water with that leave-in detangler just to have my hair nice and soft so that I can apply my blow dry spray. Now I'm going to be using my Eva NYC blow dry spray and I never straighten my hair without heat protectant. And I'm using my golden hot blow dryer from Sally's I think this is. And this has a comb attachment. It's on low. I do not blow dry my hair on high. It's on low and I'm basically doing like swift motions just to get it about 90% dry. And then I like to do bantu knots to kind of stretch my hair. So I kind of twist it to keep it in place and keep my roots kind of straight. And then I just do bantu knots throughout my hair. And just to show you guys again, I kind of smooth my hair through, apply the blow dry spray. I like to do in sections of four, just so I can make sure that the heat protectant is covering my hair. I straighten my hair for several reasons. One of them is because right now I'm gonna cut off the ends of my hair and I wanted it straight so I can see where my hair is really damaged or where it was really not taken care of. Cause I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't do a lot of natural hair tutorials for a while. Um, so since I went natural, I've been learning to take care of my hair. So right now the ends are where, you know, my journey started and those need to go. I'm going to straighten those out and then clip them off. So that's one of the reasons. And then I'm going to install some clip-ins. You guys are, have probably already seen the video. Um, but yeah, you can check that out if you want to. But I'm just going to finish my hair with the Bantu knots and then we'll be ready for our flat iron. Okay, so here's my hair blow dried, you guys. Now you can kind of see it more apparently. I'm not crazy, like the ends of my hair are kind of, I guess, see-through. My hair is already thin, if you guys wanna know my hair type. It's thin, it's fluffy. You can see it looks like a cloud, so I don't have thick hair by any means. So that's one of the reasons why I have to, um, you know, clip my hair. I've been cutting it off gradually. So this is just a video of me showing you guys how I do that process. And that's essentially before I visit a salon stylist. I recently moved so I'm really trying to find someone that really knows how to take care of my hair. Because I do need a little bit of professional help. So here I'm just flat ironing my hair. I'm using the Motions uh, Heat Protectant. And again I'm doing it in those four sections and I'm running the product through. And then I'm going to flat iron using the comb chasing method. And my flat iron is on, I think, 375. For my extension styles with leave out, I always use between like 375 and 380. I think hair burns at like 450, so you don't want to go that high. I kind of use like moderate heat on my hair. So I just go through. I try to do one pass through only. And then once I had made my way through my hair, I kind of clip the see-through ends off. First, what I do, because I know this is not the proper way to cut hair, I kind of clip off like stringy ends at first. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to go through again and cut the hair more evenly. So I'm just showing you guys a foolproof way to clip off your ends, especially if they're dead and lifeless. As well as, I want to show you guys like how my hair looks right now, like the state of my hair. And yeah, you guys wanted to see it so... Here it is, here's my little pillow top, like I like to call it.
Once again, here's a closer look of how I straighten with the flat iron. I'm going to saturate the hair in sections again with a heat protectant spray. This one I think is by Motions and it's I think it's oil based. So it would kind of steam a little bit with the flat iron is what I noticed. Um, so I section it off again. I use a comb chasing method. Go through my hair once with the flat iron and then I clip off the, the obviously stringy ends. And once again, I'm going to go through it again and cut those off. So if you're new to YouTube tutorials, you might be wondering like, what the heck is the comb chasing method that I mentioned earlier? Well, I can use a comb to straighten my hair more evenly or to get all of the strands. And that's a good way to avoid passing through it more than once. Because with natural hair, you don't want to use excess heat. It's even a risk to use heat in the first place. So yeah, that's one of the benefits of the comb chasing method. It makes for a more even heat distribution and it prevents me from using excess heat on my hair. Alright guys, so here's my hair after it's been flat ironed and you can see my ends are a lot thicker and healthier. As it comes to the end of my hair, you can see those need to go. So I'm going to help clip those off. So I'm going to be clipping like I guess the correct way. You're supposed to stretch your hair in the direction that it would grow and then you even out the hair. So I'm doing like the foolproof method. I'm just going to go through and make it somewhat even. I'm not going to do a cut or a chop. Like I said, I need to go to a salon for that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through again and clip my hair. So you can do this in really small sections. Like if you wanna cut a quarter inch at a time, if you wanna do that, I would definitely recommend that so you don't overcut your hair because I know that can be like a problem if we cut off too much and it's not even and we don't know what we're doing. That's a recipe for disaster. So yeah, I'm starting small. And also, which is why I did it in two cuts, because I'm not a professional yet. <laughs> Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping light. Finally, I gave myself some old lady curls as I like to call them. I remember when I was a teenager, I hated, hated, hated like curling my hair like this. 
I would always wear, wear like bone straight because I didn't like the curled look. But yeah, so these are my results. I was just clipping my ends. I wish I had gotten ready for you guys to make it look like something. But yeah, let me know if this video helped you guys. And also, I need tips. Um, I need to make my hair less humidity resistant or more humidity resistant, if that makes any sense. My hair fluffs up so easily. Like, what do you guys do like in the summertime to combat your hair puffing up through sweat or just from going outside? Any tips will be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.